and fatal kicks. They knew they had to tire him out. And when a hyena grabbed him by the flank, he went down. But he wasn't out. As gruesome as this may be, the hyena still killed him quicker than lions would do by strangling him. There was no chance for him now, but from somewhere he found some energy and fought back. But with the loss of blood and trauma, there just wasn't any more fight left in him. And by dawn he was just a bloodstain on the grass. Oh. oh my god, this is really unbelievable. Oh, oh. oh that's that damage. Oh god. And the rest oh. of the of them are coming. Oh. Look at them coming. Embo Mambia Mkateni we saw Maramoja. This guy here is going too. Yeah. yeah. Look, at yeah. Look, Look at that big one going. Oh. oh. It's still alive. You know what they normally do? Do they kill it before they eat no, it? No, they, they have to drown it. They cannot be killed by suffocation. They have to drown the, the zebra. zebra. So they come and cooperate and oh, pull into a little bit. Oh, my gosh. This is unbelievable. Oh. Oh. This is sad. Can be anybody Don't be glad we have stuck in peace. Oh my god, that's huge. Oh my gosh. This is so upsetting. Zebras are my favorite. That thing is huge. <gasps> Did you just see? Did you just see that thing of blood just spurt out of it? Yeah. Just so bad. Look you see, they're eating it alive. They're it's eating yeah. it alive. Yeah. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, they're eating it alive. Yeah. Poor uh, zebra. No Die already. Oh. It oh just died. Oh my god. Come down. Look. Look. Oh. Look at all of them coming. Oh my gosh. Look at them the coming right. from the right. Severin. Oh. Oh. oh my god, it's wild dogs going after a kudu. Oh. Oh, oh not even the nose. No, that's how they kill, eh? Oh, oh just hang on that period. Yeah. Really? Oh, oh look nice. at the blood coming out. Oh. Look at my camera. Yeah. My word, this is a cycling of a lifetime, guys. Seriously. Really? Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh.
But something's out there, some kind of prey. He knows this because he has hundreds of tiny sensors, like beard stubble, running the length of his body, particularly near his jaws, directly connected by nerves to his brain. A ripple hits a crocodile's jaws, and the croc can immediately calculate which side felt it more strongly and in what proportion. And if that ripple's source is close enough, and it's a prey item, in 200 milliseconds, twice as fast as the blink of an eye, it triggers a lunge and a snap. But just before the source comes into range, a sound startles him. It's a mother croc diving into the water, headed straight for him. Suddenly, the source of those ripples becomes clear. A two-day-old baby crocodile swims less than a meter away. 10 years ago, he was the hatchling being threatened by every predator in the swamp. Now, the shoe is on the other foot. But the mother croc, larger than the juvenile male, swings for hatchling's defense. She's picked up all time and she's very... Female will be all over him like a cheap suit. Smaller than the mother croc who's taken over this pool, he has no choice but to get away as fast as he can and find another pool to call home. He has to settle for a very small one, a watering hole he has all to himself. But if it doesn't attract any big prey, he may not survive. It's been two weeks, and no large prey items have even come close to this watering hole. Each day, he's expending more than 1,200 calories. And he doesn't have enough energy to make it to yet another watering hole. The young croc doesn't figure out how to get something he can actually eat. He's going to get weaker and weaker. He's putting more energy than he has to in order to get his food. And eventually, he's going to get too tired to grab anything even substantial. With the situation desperate, suddenly, the sensors on his jaw pick up something. He can't see through the murky water. But picking up ripples on the surface, his sensors give him very specific information about where the ripples are coming from. He swims closer and peeks his eyes above the water. Two meters away is a 45 kilogram impala. The more than 60,000 calories could keep him alive for four months. But if he blows this opportunity, it could cost him his life. <laughs> to take this Impala down, he'll need every one of his evolutionary advantages. But excellent, just 20% of the air is lost. He can tail 20 centimeters of the site. He slots slowly into the multiple radius. His extraordinary stealth gets him into striking range. 
But if he's going to take down something 10 times larger than anything he's killed before, it's going to come down to the final launch. Will it be fast enough to surprise this Impala? With spring from his legs, power from his muscular tail, and some of the most bone-crushing jaws on the planet, our young croc has sunk his teeth into the flesh of a large mammal. Finally, this 10-year-old juvenile becomes a full-fledged bull. the 60,000 calories propel him on to his next hunt. And five seasons later, when the wildebeest come, he'll return to the Mara River and take his place next to the older males. By then, his perfectly engineered body will be big enough and strong enough and at a feast. When the lean time come, and Sir Energy, he can rapidly slow his body down. After beating the odds, he's now proven why Nile crocodiles are so successful and why they rule the river.